Now I'll walk you through what a dashboard is and how it helps show where you've been and guides where you want to go. With dashboards on apitable.com, display and centralize all your data in a digestible format to help you understand how it is going. Let's check it out. Start your dashboard from scratch from a folder menu and name it. And you can also set its permissions as appropriate here. It means that you can set it visible only to you and those who you invited. Once that's settled, select the board or boards you want to feed into your dashboard. Next up, the building blocks of your dashboards, widgets. From here, you'll see the widgets you can add. Just imagine we manage projects. We can add a summary widget to stay on top of things, like how many projects are going. A chart widget to see the status of project tasks. But before that, it's time to link it to the data sheet you want, and then it'll give you a clear showing. It's very easy for you to lay out the widgets following your ideas on the panel, as long as drag and drop can achieve it, just like what I'm doing. Each widget will have a dedicated settings area to customize the information it's showing. Just click the gear wheel to see all the options available. For example, I can adjust the chart style from here as well as alter the X and Y axis selecting which column or item information to use. There are so many more widgets too. Just head on over to the widget center to see everything available to you. Like funnel chart, analyze the data for different sections within the procedure, reveal the issue and help make the well-informed decision. The map widget, which shows the geographical location on the map as coordinate points. All these widgets can do their favor as much as possible and visualize as well as simplify your data. In one words, with dashboards on apitable.com, turn your data into a catalyst for future decisions.